Alrighty, we are in round three, TTV Ghosts. Taking a moment in the camera to look beautiful as can be, bunny ears on and all. TTV coffee drink a looking huh. interesting outfit, my friend. <laughs> all right, look at all these beautiful people. All these people are probably used to being on the top of the podium and everything. Fortunately, here's the lyrics going, nope, this is my position today. Quite the nice matching outfit. I apologize for these little circles here, everyone. This is from my personal holding on to maps. Alright, so we have a stream of people hopping out right away again. Looking as though Yo-Yo Hunter checking out Watchtower ASAP with his teammate. Wait, is Yo-Yo all alone? Yo-Yo is doing a solo duo right now, so he is going in solo for this match. Man has confidence. Anomaly and Lilia checking out another area that you seldomly see people head to. However, it seems to be that that is the way to play the situation. It is working for them. Claw with his teammate EK Shadow. Guccio Ghost heading out that way. Braggerizer heading out to Warrenville. Quite the large group heading towards the ski resort. Shenboy and Mute, Coffee Drinker and Tickle Pickle, Clips and Genius all landing very close to each other. Looking as though we may have some early fights in Springtown, I turn, I kill. Walking in towards town, possibly about to engage again, Tato and Dylan, same position they landed in last time. Possibly very confident about their landing place. Tickle your pickle, taking a look around, oh sorry, coffee drinker, taking a look around the area. Shenboy, beat trap in the nearby area, unsure if that's his or if it is the enemy's. However, Shenboy does notice tickle your pickle and he has shot into the sky. Coffee drinker is well in the distance. Will they be able to line up the easy shots? Will they choose to engage from this distance? Will they take out a little bit of health just because? However, they have fallen out of the render distance and the fight is over. Kenshiro looking as though he may be walking right up on Bragrizer. Bragrizer is well wanting the chest, possibly already noticing him though. And being how there is gunfire, I can see how Bragrizer will have recognized the gunshots, especially being, yep. He is in sight. Braggerizer has the scoped air on him. He is taking massive shots though. He chose not to engage the situation. His shots have let him know where, where he is to the enemies. And unfortunately, the enemies have found Nagasaki knocking him down. However, they are at some distance. So if Nagasaki does have the cover, he can disengage. Kenshiro, though, is still aware of where Braggerizer is and is throwing the napalms into the situation. Kenshiro has proven to have a shot this entire situation and will use it, though. Mute, looking to be taking people out. I turn, I kill, getting two defeats, meaning that he did take out Dylan and Guccio as they landed in. Ski Resort seems to be having an issue. Mute with half health, he did eliminate the other opponent. Genius has been knocked over. Clips is able to get the res off at this point, but there are grenades coming in hot. The grenades unfortunately put Clips into a moment where he has to reposition. Mute on the other side of the trees, able to get a nice sight on him. Looks as though Genius is unsure. He's just crawling towards, hoping for the best. But Mute does have the frag grenades, so they do have to be concerned. Breaking down the bills, not giving an opportunity 
for the enemy to get the resurrection. However, he is stuck using two ops with one grenade left on him. Looks as though Claw is popping off in Springtown, taking out the opponents. One versus two against I Turn and Dumbo, proving a shotgun dominance. We have Lycan in a fight against Peter. Grenades are being tossed from both ends. Neither of them connecting. Grenades have seemed to come out very largely this match. People are realizing exactly how deadly they are and utilizing them. Astro taking damage, losing all of his armor as well about 30% of his health. I'm assuming Bunny and Peter making the shots. Lycan choosing, he wants to get himself in close range, realizing Bunny's right there. Ooh, Bunny being dropped down to near 10 health. Lycan did take some shots himself. Will he take that moment to reheal? He does have a lot of damage against the enemy. Bunny is taking that moment to heal up. Sitting in a great height position, RPG in hand, able to try and make some poke shots. However, Lycan has disengaged to get himself a better angle. Will he be able to make the shots though? Bunny prepared with the RPG, unaware exactly which angle his opponent will poke, but he does have to worry about shots that are as well very close to him. He is also stuck with 20 mats left, he is now at 0 mats, he is in a situation where he needs to make the kill and he needs to make it now. Lycan's unaware that Bunny is actually disengaged. Possibly double checking to make sure the teammate's there. His teammate Astro has been knocked down though. He does make sights of Bunny. Bunny is trying to come in. However, Lycan is unable to connect the shots needed at the time to make it easy not. But he does come in with the pop sh pump shotgun. He does have that level 100 season beautiful looking gun. And he does connect the shot with the shotgun, griefing the teammate instantly, just to make sure. Too easy, Peter, choosing to come avenge his teammate. Lycan trying to get that mech hit off as quickly as he can. Tempting to find the position, seeing if maybe he goes to loot the chest. They are on each other, they have recognized the footsteps. Peter is at a low ground advantage right now. However, that has quickly changed. Lycan is attempting to react, shoot out the builds. Peter coming in though with the scar and taking out his opponent. Anomaly and Lilia hanging out, seeming as though they have a few kills on their hands. No, they've just found other loot. They don't actually have any of these kills, they've walked into these kills. Coffee drink, tip of your pickle. Hanging out, having a few good mounts, decent loadout set up on him, ready to go. Kinshiro and Matia hanging on out there as well. Everyone's quite spread apart at the moment, unless someone spots each other with a sniper. I don't see an engagement happening the next few moments here. However, it looks like team 15 and 16 could be migrating on each other in the near future here. They are both heading in the right directions. Oh! Guccio, about to walk up on Tickle Pickle, throwing the grenades, already aware that they are inside the building. Coffee Drinker choosing to make a slight disengagement with the Coke Peller to try and get away from the mass explosions. Tickle Your Pickle now reacting in order to engage the enemies. Guccio though, unrelentless with the grenade launcher, making sure that they don't have the moment. However, he is now out of ammo, so it's time to start having a gunfight. The storm is coming in, grenades are making damage, and they are connecting very well to Guccio, making TTV Ghost choose to get the heck on out of there. Collier is in the distance there. Coffee Drinker attempting to make the final shots, Ghost coming up making very powerful connections. Putting Coffee Drinker into a situation where he needs to med up, thankfully he's not too ticked so he is able to get the meds off in time. Lobbing a few grenades, seeing if he can get that clutch kill we all know is possible. Does knock him out, and I believe he is going for the grief. He does get the grief. He has finished off the enemy. Guccio, 
hiding behind the rock. Unfortunately, that is irrelevant. It looks as though Coffee Drinker does have his graphics set on low and was able to see the opponent through the build. Grinch, loot on up. How are we doing for kills right now? So far, we have Club by himself right now, rocking out with two kills. Very lonesome. Actually heading towards no one at all. Unaware of that. Oh, but he does do a quick little swap around, making sure he can see anyone. There's a large edge of the circle. This ship did start around the windmill heading in, if I recall. Maybe a little more right. So he may be aware of where the majority should be. Yo-Yo Hunter still alive in a solo duo attempt against everyone. Sitting on the edge of Eden Vines, about to prepare to launch himself on in. Does he realize Collier's right below him? He more than likely does by the look at the spring, and he chooses to back on up, hoping to get a better engagement. Hopefully he doesn't stand too still before they recognize him. Looks like so far he's good, maybe going for some extra loot just in case. They have spotted him, they are aware of his existence. Unfortunately, his head was just a little too high and they did scape off the top of it. He's choosing to disengage, realizing that these people do have shots and if he has any intent to get into the final fight, he may need to disengage from the situation. The Grinch with his teammate, we out here, representing 2EZ, finding Matea and Kinshiro, and they do make the shots at Matea, putting him down onto the ground too easy, Peter then taking out Kenshiro in a third party attack. Putting too easy Peter into a 1 vs 2 situation, however he was able to snag an extra kill which does help add points to him. Lyric, very close by of Collier, probably more than likely recognizing the shots and yes that is true because Collier is attempting to return fire to engage in the fight. Lyric still kind of hanging out low, not engaging yet, just checking for shots. The Grinch coming over top, not landing any, however, it looked very close and that could have been very deadly very quickly. Lyric now down to half health though, he does need to watch out, he is now put into a situation, they are focus firing him and Too Easy P Peter has yet again come out with the scar and has come out on top. Anomaly TV looks to have found TTV Coffee Dranka. Tickle your pickle all by his lonesome right now. Unfortunately, Anomaly was not, and Lilia comes from behind with the shotgun, finishing him off. Yet again, showing dominance, and that has shot them up to number one with four kills. However, not alone, because Too Easy Peter himself has four kills, and we out here in Grinch with four themselves. like Lilia trying to get on in from the storm here. Has herself a couple of propellers prepared just in case. Yo-Yo Hunter playing this as safe as can be. He has disengaged completely into the storm. He has one coke propeller. I'm unaware if he has more items on him so he can make that distance. However, this is his current situation. Ed E.B. Teddy with E.B. Pito Sama. Farming up some materials, level 5, gearing up, looking beautiful with their busted blades. Hopefully preparing to go to work. Claw himself though, still continuing out. Almost 3,000 mats about to hit the cap for level 3 builds. Grinch still sitting at level 1 mats of only about 900 by the time this tree is done. Anomaly and Lilia slightly spread out, getting some extra loot, getting some extra materials, possibly scouting for their next opponent. Shenboy and Mute, on the other hand, locked at the hip, side by side, ready to unload on their opponents. Too easy Peter, farming inside the house. Will he get noticed by Grinch on the exit? No, it seems as though Grinch has decided to turn back around to his teammate. Oh, no, I apologize. A little sleight of eye there, not thinking about the two EZs. Yeah, we're about to have ourselves a little bit of a clan fight here as Peter attempts to solo push against We Out Here and Grinch. However, that is a scary situation. Peter has proven himself to have quite the nice shot, though, when the moments appear. He does have four kills. 
pump shotgun comes out almost knocking Grinch, however the damage from the duo is too much to withstand and he is knocked out of this competition. Claw sitting on 19 health, I'm assuming Lily and Phenomaly have spotted Claw and he is attempting to push in the best he can. However, a disengagement may be a smarter idea at this point because he is a one shot kill at this point from almost every gun. However, Lilia doesn't really want to give him that opportunity. Phenomaly as well joining the fray. The grenade launcher coming in hot, putting Flaw into a pickle, and he has been removed from the competition, but not without getting several kills and taking out multiple players before doing so. The backwards roll, there we go. Shenboy and Mute have noticed the reaction and the gun fires, however that puts Shenboy into a horrible pinch situation from two very strong gunmen. Anomaly sitting on top, keeping those eggs warm before he cracks them, dropping those grenades on in. Mute attempting to make the right disengagement to get away from the explosions. Choosing to make a disengage actually. Choosing to get on out of there for a minute. Getting behind the rock so he can get some bandage or if Anomaly is not wanting to give him that opportunity. Blobbing grenades to the side. Mute will be able to get the bandage off. Napalm's in hand. Maybe a not the best. And he has been knocked, leaving Shenboy to his lonesome against Lilia and Phenomaly. He has been dropped to half health. He is choosing to disengage. However, he is going in the opposite direction. Phenomaly with the slight BM dropping the dance bomb on him. Shenboy finding himself those heals, and he seems to have been able to disengage from the situation. Yo Yo is still hanging out. He has made his way back in from the storm. We out here and Grinch getting into a fight. Grinch had been knocked, however the fight was won and they have been able to get each other out. Shenboy choosing to make a massive disengage from the situation. He does not want to fight these two right now. However, if there was a way to make a name for yourself, solo duo taking these people would be the way. I love it when spectator mode has those nice little glitches there. Man who's running on air. <laughs> and he is receiving shots, someone has recognized him. Shenboy attempting to make the shots out of the sky, however not able to connect them with the AK. Anomaly City on almost full armor, full health. Shenboy with just a little bit of armor, maybe able to take one extra body shot. Maybe. Coming up a few extra explosions. Anomaly able to hook just on the side of the windmill as the guy tries to shoot it out. Walking on air with the speed of his builds. Unfortunately, oh, okay, he's not choosing to use the wall in order to get through the build with him. He is having himself a shotgun fight. But it looks as though we out here and Grinch has come in with the third party, taking the kill from Phenomaly, putting them into a final two versus two duo situation. The Grinch with napalms in hand attempting to push Phenomaly out of his position using the rock as a line of sight. Phenomaly looking to be a little over half health but has lost a lot of armor, is on fire taking damage. The Grinch taking out shots, knocking Phenomaly to the ground. One of the two has been knocked down. Lilia at the far right distance focusing, trying to avenge the teammate. Phenomaly attempting to make a back crawl towards the teammate using a slight line of sight of the hill. Lily unfortunately with no extra armor, 83 health with no healing on her. This does put her into a little bit of an intimidating situation being there's almost about 350 health she has to deal to eliminate her opponents. And these people have proven to have the accuracy and teamwork to make that a, a challenge to do. The storm now coming in as well, taking some ticks of damage from Lilia, but she is managing her way to stay inside the storm. Fortunately, made to use her coke propeller, she attempts to rush herself in. Being said, being how she's in the number two position, she has secured. She does pick up a little bit of armor, able to help her out. The builds are coming in. She's attempting to react. She gets the height very quickly. 
side by side with Grinch. However, the kills were made, the shots were done, and the unstoppable team has actually been stopped. Good game. Good game, everyone. And as well, we out here in Grinch also having the most kills this match. Not the most kills throughout the tournament combined, but in this match alone, we out here and Grinch have gone aggressive and they got the most kills in a single match. Great game, everyone. Alright, just gonna send in some of these images to iTurn so you can collect the points. If you are curious to know who the winners are, I recommend you do hit up the CDPL Discord, as well as that is a way that you can sign up for any future tournaments, you can figure out the schedules of everything going on, and from there you can continue to join. And as well, I want to point out on the 21st of February, all servers will be merged together. So I'm talking just about the US servers. So the website version and the Steam client will be playing together. You can add each other's friends. So the ability for you as a web player to come on and join everyone on Steam to do future tournaments is possible. So if you are interested, doesn't take money, it doesn't take anything of that sort, make sure you check out the CDPL Discord for any future tournaments and everything. Now, I like to say we do have to add the points together, of course, but I'm sure we're all very well aware. Lilia the Succubus, as you can see in chat, she is as well a streamer, and her teammate Phenomaly, who is as well as a streamer, have both won this tournament. So if there's someone you want to watch in the future for some gameplay, as you can tell, they're very efficient players. Make sure to shoot them out a follow. Give them a little bit of love. They deserve it. They did amazing today. Good games, everyone.